know, I, we've heard that the HPV vaccine along with cervical cancer prevention and screening can lead to the elimination of cervical cancer as a public health problem. So not, not absolute zero cases, but um, a much more rare cancer than it is now. So as a gynecologist who's seeing patients, what do you want people, um, uh, people with cervix in their adult years and also people who are parents, what do you want them to know about how best to protect their health um, from HPV disease? So what's really cool now is that we know um, how HPV works throughout the lifetime and the sort of time course of when people generally get infected and then when cancers typically start developing. And so HPV vaccination is recommended between the ages of nine and 12 for two reasons. One, nobody's been exposed. And two, the antibody responses are really incredibly good. And so it lasts, we believe it's gonna last a lifetime similar to like the hepatitis A and hepatitis B vaccines because we've been following people now for more than 15 years and haven't seen the immunity go away. So that's very reassuring that it's gonna last, you know, for as long as it's needed. Um, and we also have really good evidence that when people get their HPV vaccine on time, um, cervical cancer is basically eliminated. So what there was just a study out of Sweden showing that um, for girls who received the HPV vaccination on time, they had an 88% lower likelihood of having a diagnosis of cervical cancer before the age of 30 compared with girls who were unvaccinated. Um, and this was, this was really, really exciting because it shows that it's long lasting because those were all girls who were you know, vaccinated in their early teens and followed up through the age of 30. And what was also really interesting is that was on top of screening. So organized screening started in Sweden at the age of 23 and that population really tends to go in um, to the doctor on schedule. And it was on top of screening that we saw this, um, you know, nearly 90% reduction. So that's really, really exciting. So even in countries like the United States where we have a robust screening program, uh, the Sweden study demonstrated the value of adding HPV vaccination to that because that's another country where they have robust screening, correct? Right. And theirs is probably more robust than ours in that ours is really opportunistic. And the age group that's least likely to be screened adequately right now is the 21 to 29 year olds. Once you get beyond the early 20s, HPV vaccination becomes much less effective because most people have already been exposed. And that's when screening becomes the key to preventing cervical cancer. And the first line of screening is testing for HPV. Um, this can be done with HPV testing alone, or it can it is um, done also very commonly HPV with cytology testing together, um, and then following up on any abnormal results. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca. It was great to talk to you today, and thanks for taking time out of the clinic to uh, tell us about HPV testing and cervical cancer prevention. Thank you.